Hi guys, I hope you're all really well. It's been a little while yet again. Um, my job just kind of gets in the way of a lot of things and there's been some exciting things going along in my personal life which I'm hoping will tick over quite nicely and then I can share them all with you but I'm absolutely terrified of jinxing literally anything so until it's kind of official um, I don't want to share it so I will share that shortly but I'm basically going to Ibiza on Friday. The last time I went to Ibiza was probably about five years ago for a work trip, so I'm really excited. It's with Nokia, um, Nokia Mobile, the phone. I'm really excited, but um, after my summer holidays, I gave away basically 99% of all my summer clothes to like friends, to family, to charity shops. I even left a lot of it on different holidays. So I am a bit stuck because I didn't really expect to go anywhere sunny that would really warrant a, like a nice off the shoulder dress. So I had a little bit of a panic and I obviously like to trust the old ASOS like kind of your one-stop shop for everything and with a Premier account you obviously get the perk of having super fast next day delivery. I think someone on my shoot today was saying that they now have same day delivery which blows my tiny mind but I have a huge ASOS packet and I thought the best way to get back into filming again would just be to film and just to share everything in here with you. Um, so here we go, I haven't even opened this yet. There's a lot of duplicates in here because, as I mentioned, I haven't really ordered anything summer related for quite a while and I wasn't really sure on my sizing, so I doubled up. Okay, so the first thing in here I'm really excited about. This is literally the first thing in as I opened the packet and it is this amazing bag. I absolutely love a good wicker bag, so I saw this online and I absolutely fell in love with it. The only thing is, it's from Skinny Dip and it is completely covered in bright pink pom-poms on one side, which I'm not overtly fond of. So my plan was to snip them off, which I think I should be able to. I think they're just stitched on. So my plan is to remove these and just have it as kind of a really cute basic bag. It's fully lined in this lovely monochrome gingham print and Handley has a metallic button fastening so it'll keep it quite secure. I really loved this and what I thought was great about it is that not only will it be really practical for this long weekend that I'm away on, and um, just store my bits in and maybe even take to the airport but I thought it'd be really handy for just storing like some magazines in in the flat or gosh what else I had all these ideas of what I could store in it when I ordered it and now they've all gone but I'll find some other purpose for it and I just thought it was really cute maybe even umbrellas at the bottom of the stairs I just thought it was a really cute little extra bit to add into our flat and I love it my many dockets when you get more than one docket from ASOS you know you've got a problem so this is something I picked up from the Free People sale. I love Free People but it's just a little bit out of my like kind of everyday price range but I thought it could be really cute on holiday. I don't know if it's going to be a bit too big on but it's just this amazing striped knitted vest top. I thought it was really adorable. The colours in it are very kind of retro, very 70s and also the hues are really warm and I just thought it would really help kind of accentuate any kind of fake tan that I could <laughs> apply to myself before I go um, just because as you can see, you're pretty pale and pasty. Um, so I've just put this on. I feel like I'm wearing granddad's sweater or something. I don't really think it's quite my vibe. It's not really quite my cup of tea. So this I will 100% not be keeping. It will be going back. But I just thought I would add a little disclaimer in while I'm showing you it that I actually don't really like it. And it's very weird on. So... The next thing I picked up was something that I actually saw in store in Mango and it's just this really lovely red, black and white striped dress. It's a cami style with lace detailing at the front and what I loved about this is that I thought, yeah, I could wear it kind of on its own in Ibiza but I could also wear it with a t-shirt underneath or a roll neck underneath and kind of get that extra wear out of it. It's that kind of longer, almost midi length that is super flattering and you can kind of take from day to night with accessories and there's quite a few evening events on and you know me, I'm not much of an evening gal so this might be my fail safe option. I'll definitely be sharing all the looks I do wear on my Instagram which is at Sarah's Go so come say hi on there and see what I do dare myself to wear while I'm out there. The cami dress isn't too too much but some of these bits are. Um, <laughs> which I'm instantly holding now. Basically, I really loved this because I'm really, really into yellow this season. Like all year long, I've been really into yellow and I just thought this was the cutest thing. It's a really lovely ribbed bikini, um, which I don't think I will show you on camera, but I really loved it, so I'll show you it on here. It's this really great bright yellow ribbed bikini top, and it's got this crossover detailing on the back. This is from Wolf and Whistle at ASOS, and I just loved how bright and fun it was. 
and then there's some matching bikini bottoms I got these in two sizes because again I wasn't really sure what size I'd be and I just thought they were really cute it's so bright and funny so I loved that I picked that up both of those they were sold separately both of those I picked up in two different sizes I also picked up two swimming costumes I'll show you oh no I didn't this is not a swimming costume <laughs> looks like a swimming costume. I also picked up one of these really cute knitted tops. I don't really know what I was thinking as it looks absolutely tiny in real life but it's basically one of those ribbed knitted crop tops that has um, longer arms. I thought that I could maybe wear this with some high-waisted cut-off denim shorts and maybe some sandals in the evening for if we're going out somewhere. It isn't really too dressy. I thought it might be quite cute. Now I'm looking at it, I don't know what I was thinking and I don't know who I was thinking I was because I just think the older I get, the more you're like, it doesn't really matter, just wear what you want and enjoy it. It's all about how you feel in it and your confidence in the item and yourself shining through over whether or not you have abs or not. Um, I mean, I definitely don't have abs, but I'm going to give this a fair... <laughs> To give this a fair shot you may not see this on me on camera by the way this is the swimming costume so i also picked up two of these um just again in two different sizes and this is called the asos sculpt me control cupped supportive swimsuit describes exactly what it is handily it's got a supportive front that's all completely cupped and padded and it's got that sticky um supportive material that although i feel like you can never really rely on anything to fully hold you in i think it won't slip down no matter how many times to jump in and out of the pool. This does feel quite sturdy. Um, it's just got a little bit of a lower dipped back. Again, I'm definitely not showing you this swimsuit on me on camera. And it's just got a nice bodice and then it goes down to kind of like a normal fit. I wouldn't say it's a particularly high leg. I just say it's kind of a flattering bikini shine. I really love this. I, th I think the panelling that you might be able to see on camera is going to be super flattering on. And I just don't think you can go wrong with a really classic black swimsuit. And then this is really fun. So I put this on quite a few pages in the magazine I work on just because I just thought it was so fun, so bright, so fresh. It's just from Warehouse and it is the most fun, bright and fresh t-shirt I think I've ever seen. I think again this will look great just for breakfast or lunch or just out exploring with cut off denim shorts. I'm going to definitely live in my Topshop pair that I've had all over my Instagram all summer long. It really reminds me of like a highlighter set you'd get just before you went back to school each year. This is another top that I picked up in the sale from Free People. Again, stripey. You can tell I love a stripe and it's just this really cute vest top. Again, red, white and this time blue stripe. It's very light cotton. I thought it'd be really nice for daytime and it's got a crossover detailing at the back. I can't remember how much this was and it just has $58 on here so I'll make sure everything's linked below. This is another bikini option which my oh my I was feeling a bit brave when I ordered it. It's just a black and white printed bikini top. I think it's really sweet. It's got quite a bit of support, which I really appreciate. And I think the pattern's really fun too. I picked up a pair of matching high-waisted bikini bottoms with it, which I've never actually tried on a pair of high-waisted bikini bottoms just because I was so sure that they wouldn't suit me. I'm gonna give these a go. I'm not really sure on them because I think from behind my bum might look absolutely blooming huge. And I just picked up this really basic basic classic grey cotton bra. It really reminds me of something you wore when you were like just starting out buying bras and it's something I've kind of recently got back into buying just because I do like to have a little bit more support when I go to bed than no support and something like this that's completely cotton and is free from any wiring of any kind just offers you that. It's really simple and I think this is £7 so you can't really go wrong with that for me. And then the final thing that I picked up was from Pretty Little Thing of all places. And it's just this really fun printed off the shoulder dress. It's a maxi style and it's just covered in these gorgeous flowers. I just thought it was super cute. It's got a little um, kind of cut out lace detailing um, as you get right down to the bottom of the dress, which I thought was quite sweet. This was probably the most expensive thing I purchased out of everything. And I think it was like 28 pounds or something like that. So everything I picked up was under 30 pounds, which I thought was pretty good. I know I've covered quite a lot of holiday clothes and I know not many people will actually be wanting to go on holiday. So I thought for good measure, I would also share with you a few things I picked up that are more kind of relative to now um, and things that you could very easily wear. Right now <laughs> rather than a off the shoulder dress which is quite kind of dependent on the season and I mean it's been a while since I've shared anything new with you guys so I thought why not I take this opportunity to do so the first thing is 
so fun. It's just from Jules and it's this giant red shopping tote. I absolutely love this. As you will probably well know already, red is like a major, major colour of the season. It's so bright, it really pops against your outfit, especially something like really classic like a white shirt and jeans. I love this. I love that it's just got the really minimal gold embossed branding on the front and I just love that it's completely lined with Jules. It's classic, gorgeous floral prints and it comes handily with a tote that you can detach if you want to or keep attached um, for extra security when you're out and about. Um, I also went to Topshop this week. <laughs> I didn't have time to go holiday shopping but I did have time to go to Topshop which just kind of shows you where my poor priorities are. Um, and I picked up a pair of these amazing trousers. They're navy and they're just covered with these gorgeous checks. I just think they're absolutely lovely. They work really nicely with like a grey oversized knit and they've got a really lovely kind of loop detailing at the front which you can buckle up here. I think these are really sweet. I think it's a really nice smart alternative to jeans. The next thing which you will have 100% seen on my Instagram is this dress which is part of the Studio by Preen collection at Debenhams and it's just absolutely beautiful. It's this really long um, maxi dress. I've got so so into maxi dresses of late. I've really refound my love of dresses. It's very sheer and it comes with a slip dress but it's completely covered with these bright beautiful flowers. It has a really nice kind of pussy bow at the neck that you can either wear in a bow or you can just leave hanging down crossed over. Um, buttons all the way down and then a really gorgeous drop hem. I've got so many pictures of me wearing this because I absolutely love this dress. I will wear this forever. And then I picked up these guys which I didn't really think much of at the time apart from that I loved them and that I needed them in my life but I'm now thinking I could potentially take them with me to Ibiza and that would maybe justify buying them that little bit more. They're just from Zara and they're these amazing completely pearl embellished and adorned kitten heels which I love. I really surprised myself with my love of sock boots and my love of kitten heels this autumn. Love how luxurious they look. I love the pearls. I love the really adorable kitten heel which surprises me to even say. They're a really classic shoe that will look really good with jeans or a long dress. Look at these little guys together absolutely adorable. Oh and this actually, I hadn't thought about this for Ibiza either but this will come in very handy. It's this amazing denim smock dress from the John Lewis and an Orr collection which um, this really gorgeous floral detailing all down the sleeves which I love and across the arms. I love that it's kind of got that raw detailing around the waist. It's so sweet, it's that lovely midi length that will look so good with just like a pair of Birkenstocks or a pair of trainers. I also think it would look lovely with maybe a roll neck underneath kind of when I'm back in England and readjusting to it being absolutely bloody freezing. Speaking of it being absolutely freezing, this I have literally not taken off apart from to film this video since I got it. It's from Marks and Spencer's the trustiest place to get any form of knitwear in my opinion. And it's this amazing cardigan. It's got an Aran knit down the arms. It's so cosy and it's just the snuggliest thing. It's quite oversized so it looks really good with a great t-shirt and jeans. And it also very handily in my eyes has completely lined pockets which I love. You cannot beat a good pocket and you definitely cannot beat a lovely kind of grandma knit cardigan that comes with pockets. So this possibly is my favourite purchase of the entire autumn period. But yeah, that's kind of everything I've picked up recently. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this. As ever, I'm going to really try to share some more videos with you very soon. I'm going to vlog my trip to Ibiza and kind of hope that this video kickstarts me into filming even when I get in and it's very late and I'm very tired. So please do bear with me and thank you for subscribing and watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!